I got out clean. You, you dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone. Uh. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hate. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. He's all we got, man. What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Back up. You killed oh my mind. A city of Hello. celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last... <laughs> Hey, Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Oh, I am so sorry! Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed.
paying you. I hope it was worth it. Ah! Lay down fire. DW is. Wait, wait, hear me out. <clears throat> no more talking. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. People want to kill you. You won't shut up. Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one on one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't you going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin.
Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. So, you've done well for yourself. What? what? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. 
Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink? Or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry, Shaiova. <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's it now. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly, for everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones, the thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure.
hope that broke your goddamn neck! Damn, baby, you sure you don't want to join me? Oh. <sighs> 